I do not have sunflower seeds right now. I know you're all pretty excited, but I, I don't have any. Sorry. We let the banties out of their... Guys, you're being really loud. Oh my goodness. We let the banties out of the chicken tractor and they're running around the backyard. Aren't they like the cutest little things? You know, if the ducks and the other chickens had moved, you could see them. Maybe they'd be the cutest little things. There. Aren't they the cutest little things? I love watching them. They're just adorable. And the younger ones are small enough that they're still making, um, <coughs> they're still making little kind of chick peeping sounds. Oh, they're so cute. And they're so happy to be out. They get to forage as much as they want. Okay, so, um, they're not supposed to be up there because I don't want them in the garden area. This is maybe not a good development. Oh dear. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just have to get them off without scaring them to jump in, which means I really can't... Oh dear, there's another one. Oh gosh, there's like six of them up there now. Oh my. Maybe they won't go bother the melons. They're little, right? They won't hurt anything in there, maybe? They might hurt the um, the tomatoes over here, though. Crud. Guys, you have an entire huge yard. You do not need to be messing in the garden beds. Come on. Oh. Yeah, they totally look like they're going to listen, right? Mowgli, I don't have time for your fussing right now. Just give me a minute. i got to figure out how to get them off. Because I can't really go in the gate door because they're on it. And I'll scare them in. Because I need to be able to approach from this. No, I need... <sighs> well, I'm just going to watch them for a little bit and hope that they stay out of the tomatoes. <laughs> Every time I come outside, they look right in front of me. Did you want some love? Okay, so they're flying off. There they go. There's a kitten chasing them. The kittens do occasionally chase them. They chase the bigger ones, too. They never catch them. They never actually hurt them. They just chase them for fun, I think. I don't like that it upsets the chickens, but they don't actually really hurt them, so... And there's not really a lot I can do about it, because the cats are just kind of everywhere. Oh, that poor little one. She got left all by herself. She's over here cheaping. <laughs> so cute. Alright, well, garden and chicken crisis averted. They are still bugging me for seeds. This is ridiculous. And you're still bugging me for love. Hey, Moog. You just want some pets real quick, buddy? Hi. There you go. Yeah. So we moved Mercy out of here. She was not thrilled with being in here. Um, she was trying to dig her way out the front, and then I noticed she was biting the cage wires. I, she wouldn't have broken them, but I don't want her to hurt herself. So we went ahead and we moved her over somewhere else, and she seems happier there. The kids have taken her on some walks, which she seemed to enjoy. But, oh my gosh, these ducks are so bad. I'm going to go get them seeds, because otherwise they're going to be following me around yelling the whole time. There. <laughs> I'm running over here. Oh my goodness. I got fed this morning too. They just really like sunflower seeds. Okay, now that the ducks are distracted, we moved the silkies, at least the hens. We're pretty sure these five are hens. And our naked neck rooster in here because we were doing a breeding project with them and they should start laying eggs soon if they're not already laying. It's hard to tell if some of the little pullet eggs are maybe silky eggs. So we've got them in here so we can keep an eye on eggs and the other roosters will not mate with them. Just him. So we're trying to breed some showgirls. I think they're really fun and really cute. Don't love the name but that's what they're called. Basically it is a naked neck silky and they are the coolest <laughs> fluffiest looking little things so that's the goal so we are going to breed them with Alfred here and then the babies that we get from Alfred and our silkies are going to be bred back to a male silky which I do currently have a silky rooster and then you get showgirls 
At least that's how I understand the genetics. We'll see how it all works out. But that's why we have them separated. is just so that we can, hopefully, once they start laying eggs, we get past pullet egg stage. I'm hoping we can hatch out a batch of their babies still this fall. And then sometime late spring next year, early summer, we can then hatch out some showgirls. Okay, the babies. Let's see, where did the babies go? Oh, they're over by the chicken coop over. Nope, they're this way. Let's go give them some. I already gave the silky some this morning. What, you already did? Yeah, because I had to come out and help Daddy when he was leaving with your siblings. So it's Sunday, and Apollo and I stayed home because Apollo is just a little bit sniffly, a little bit head coldy, and I didn't want him sharing his germs with anybody at church. Oh, they're out, buddy. They're over here. See, they're over here. They won't let you get too close, but you can kind of toss them. Hopefully they'll get some. If the big hens don't take them all. But so Paul and I are hanging out together here at home. Huh. It's over here. He wants the camera on. He says he wants to show me something. So we're going to go see what he wants to show us. A yard over there. Which ones? A one we want past one. A toss. When do we go past? I'm not sure. And once you like saw wonder what they are. What color were they? Yellow. Oh yeah. Those. Mm hmm Those are these. Oh, you found some more of them? We have we don't really see them a lot. We used to do see them. Mm -hmm. But I the first time we saw them, they were over there. Them over there. Yeah. Ooh, got me a jacket over there. Like, it has the red top and the weed eater. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, Kurt mowed a path all the way down to the pond. However, I won't let the kids go down there. They went down the first day we mowed it, and the neighbor. His fencing is not awesome. He did fix up some of it, it looks like, but there's still spots that cows are getting into our pasture here, and he, um, his property is on this side and this side, and then there's the road, and they keep getting in, and so they went down to the pond, and all of a sudden a big cow showed up, and Reuben said it kind of started toward them, and he told them all to just book it to the house. So I won't let the kids come out here unless Kurt and I are out here with them and even then they only get to hang out like up here. So the kids can't come down and play around at the pond, which is really frustrating because this is, this is a chunk, you know, a pretty big chunk of our property that I feel like they can't come down and enjoy because of the neighbor's cow, but there's only so much we can do. You know, we tell him that they get out and then he ends up coming and dealing with them at the time sometimes or Kurt just chases it out but I just don't trust it with the kids if it decided to run at them they could get really hurt Mom, oh, Betty. I can hold it with one hand you can hold that with one hand <laughs> it's pretty heavy huh like... it rained and it's all waterlogged <laughs> very nice I can carry it with one hand what time we find you we have these pink flowers showing up. They're kind of on this big tree-ish, stockish looking thing and they're pretty tall. They're taller than I am. I have no idea what they are though. I don't remember seeing them last year though. I suppose I could and I forgot. But we just got this little patch of them here. If anybody knows where they are, let me know. I'm not really sure what they're doing here. Looks like the chickens are back to laying eggs under here, but I don't know when they started laying them because they were laying them closer, and this is quite hidden underneath there. So there's a whole little nest of eggs back here that I don't know how long they've been here. Ugh! Darn chickens. They're really pretty too. There's some green ones, some white ones, some cream ones. I see some really beautiful brown ones, kind of that pretty reddish brown. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's like ten eggs. I'm going to tell Thatcher that they'll just lay them further under when he comes out to collect. Do you guys see all of this green viney with the purple flowers? That is all passion flower. There is a ton of it. Hey, Mom? Yeah, buddy. The passion fruit. I don't know if this is the edible kind, though, because there's these little... There's these... 
that are all over it. But when we opened them this last fall, they, um, what, bud? What? I, well, the thorns caught me. Oh, the thorns caught you? But when we opened them last fall, they just had seeds in them, and they never really ripened to what I would say was edible. So, I don't know. Just a minute, buddy. Okay. I don't know if this is the edible kind, if you would eat that. Do you eat that? I don't even know, but we have an absolute ton of it because we don't have anything in here eating it down. And so we're trying to figure out what to do because it has just taken over everything. But these ones don't look as dried out as the ones last year. They look moister, but still, I don't know if this is the kind you would eat or how you would tell it's ripe. I have no idea. Well, the chickens like the passion fruit. So there's that at least. <laughs> Not that I'm going to go harvesting a bunch to feed them, but... Is that good, girls? A nice little treat? Balance. Balance? <laughs> Mowgli thinks yeah. it's a toy. I usually do it. Yeah. Oh, you do it there? <laughs> I think it's open now. Hey, Sundancer. Thank <laughs> you.